seven years ago, I had their original diagnosis. They told me that my heart was weak and it was unable to pump the amount of fluid that had built up in my system. I have been in and out of the hospital quite a bit. And when you go, when I get to that point when I know I have to go, it's frightening because I don't know what's gonna come out of it. Heart failure is any kind of dysfunction of the heart muscle that prevents it from providing sufficient blood flow to our organs. The mainstay and the foundational treatment for it is medicine. Um, and we have a, a good armamentarium of uh, pharmacological agents that we use from beta blockers to ACE inhibitors. Despite that, the hospital admissions continue to occur. Uh, there are about 600,000 a year. And even with the increased hospital admissions, the long-term prognosis of these patients aren't improved. And it's kind of prompted us to almost require a paradigm shift in the way we approach the disease. Cardiomems is the first and so far the only FDA-approved wireless implantable heart failure sensor. The device itself has two components, uh, the actual pulmonary artery sensor, which is about 4.5 mil, it's the size of a paper clip uh, that is in inserted by an interventional cardiologist into the pulmonary artery. It's calibrated to the pressures in the pulmonary artery, and then the patient receives a, um, a receiver. We call it the pillow, because essentially they wake up every morning and they lay down on the pillow. Uh, within a minute, the, the pillow is able to receive uh, information from the sensor in the pulmonary artery, and this will let us know what their PA pressures are. This reading is transmitted to a patient profile at our practice. If they meet certain thresholds, the first step is they'll receive a phone call. If we see there are symptoms, if we see that the pressures are increasing significantly, we'll go a step further than a phone call and actually bring them into the office uh, to our heart failure clinic to be seen uh, immediately. It's given me a level of security because they, whenever they notice an uptick in the pressures of my heart or the fluid building up, I always get a call from someone at, at Dr. Prasad's office, mainly it's Kathy, uh, his nurse, who says, okay, well, we need to do this, take more of this, leave this alone. They adjust it because they're always watching it with every reading of that cardio mems so they can take the precautions that need to be made to prevent a hospitalization from taking place. Between the increase in pressures to symptoms to actual hospitalizations, we realize that we catch the, the problem very late in the game. What the Cardium MPA sensor does is we can try to catch it early on, where we can already start seeing the pressure starting to climb because we've already calibrated it to the patient. And prior to them becoming symptomatic, we can intervene. Since her uh, implantation, she has not had any hospital admissions. She's been, uh, number one, feeling much better. She's been very content. Her quality of life overall has improved. Uh, and more importantly, she doesn't have to live with the fear that when is the next one coming. She knows when the phone call is coming from our office that, hey, something is happening. Let me find out what's going on. And, and she's done wonderful. He just exudes this level of caring about me, about wanting to get me to a level that's good again, that I can have a better quality of life. You know, here at Oracle, we, we really believe in engaging our patients. I mean, most patients don't want to go to the hospital. If you can provide a method where you can communicate better, predict what their outcomes can be, and then effectively and efficiently intervene in a manner that, that they are comfortable with. I think it is, it's exciting, it's, it's groundbreaking.